Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread April 11th The Divine Shepherd Knows His Flock O Shepherd Divine, I know Thou art mine. Thy great heart was broken for me. Thy grace and Thy law I picture in all. They kissed upon Calvary. A life that was given to ransom my soul. A heart that was broken to make sinners whole. This world is but lost in view of thy cross. My shepherd, I follow thee. The Divine Shepherd Knows His Flock I am the Good Shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. John chapter 10, verses 14 and 15 Christ, the great example for all ministers, likens himself to a shepherd. I am the Good Shepherd, he declares, The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. John chapter 10, verses 11, 14, and 15. As an earthly shepherd knows his sheep, so does the divine shepherd know his flock that are scattered throughout the world. Ye my flock... The flock of my pasture are men, and I am your God, saith the Lord God. Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 31. In the parable of the lost sheep, the shepherd goes out to search for one sheep, the very least that can be numbered. Discovering that one of his sheep is missing, he does not look carelessly upon the flock that is safely housed and say, I have ninety and nine, and it will cost me too much trouble to go in search of the straying one. Let him come back, and I will open the door of the sheepfold and let him in. No, no sooner does the sheep go astray than the shepherd is filled with grief and anxiety. Leaving the ninety and nine in the fold, he goes in search of the straying one. However dark and tempestuous the night, however perilous and uncertain the way, however long and tedious the search, he does not falter until the lost is found. What relief does he hear in the distance? Its first faint cry. Following the sound, he climbs the steepest heights. He goes to the very edge of the precipice at the risk of his own life. Thus he searches, while the crying, growing fainter, tells him that his sheep is ready to die. And when the straying one is found, does he command it to follow him? Does he threaten or beat it or drive it before him, thinking of the discomfort and anxiety that he has suffered on its account? No, he lays the exhausted sheep on his shoulder, and with cheerful gratitude that his search has not been in vain, he returns to the fold. His gratitude finds expression in songs of rejoicing, and when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me! For I have found my sheep, which was lost. This passage was taken from Gospel Workers, pages 181 to 182. Our Daily Bread, April 11th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.